the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Big expectations, huge expectations going into 2020. Labeled by Vegas, uh, the odds on a favorite of being the first team to play a Super Bowl in their home stadium. Currently set at 7-5. and five. More than likely not going to win the NFC South. That's going to go to the New Orleans Saints. More than likely not going to get the number one seed. Won't get the first round by, as many people expected. Sit at 7-5. and five. And to put that in perspective, what it means, 7-5 and five for you guys that play fantasy football, many of you are 7-5 and five currently and are on the cusp of, ma- of making the fantasy football playoffs. But there is no guarantee that you'll make the playoffs. Okay, you have to win, or if you lose, then you have to hope that other people lose. And that's what 7-5 and five means for, the, for you guys to put it in perspective. But, however, with the introduction of the seventh seed and the, uh, the playoff race, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers do have a good shot of making the NFL playoffs. I'm not doubting that, especially the schedule that they have coming up with the next four games coming up. But the expectations that they had on making the Super Bowl, can that still happen? Do they have a good shot of making the Super Bowl. Let's break down the schedule. We talked about the schedule and the four games that they have remaining. After their week 13 bye, they face the Minnesota Vikings. They face the Atlanta Falcons twice. They face the Detroit Lions. They could easily go 11-5. and five, Easily. But what happens if out of those two games against the Atlanta Falcons, who have been looking better since Raheem Morris took over as interim head coach. What if the Falcons were to win just one time? All right, 10-6, and six, still a very good record. But what if the Minnesota Vikings, who, yeah, they technically their record says that they're not good, but recently their defense and their offense has been looking great. What if they were to pull off the upset? Now you're sitting at 9-7. and seven. Okay, well, with the 7th, Wild card seed, yeah, you have a shot of making the uh, NFL postseason. But if you sit at 9-7, and seven, more than likely you're going to have the 7th seed, meaning that you have to face the number 2 seed in the NFL playoffs, which is going to be much harder for the Bucks and moving forward into the postseason. The potential number 2 seeds, if they were to play that, could be the New Orleans Saints. Oh, wait. They were defeated by the Saints earlier this year. By two or more possessions, twice, they were annihilated one time on Sunday Night Football. And then week one of the NFL season, they lost against the Saints. Speaking of big losses that they had against some pretty good teams, lost to the Saints twice, lost to the Chiefs this past week, lost to the Rams. They did beat the Green Bay Packers, and you have to give them credit for that. But you would expect that they would have at least a shot or a chance to beat the Saints in both those games. It wasn't even close. The game against the Chiefs, the score might say it's close, but that was a lot of scoring and, and garbage time and Tom Brady trying to come back and the Chiefs trying to run out the clock and playing a little bit softer. So the score may say it's, it's close, but if you want to compete with the best, it, it wasn't as close as you may think. And the Rams, yes, they're a very good team, but out of the good teams, you'd expect the Buccaneers to be better than them. But instead, the Rams were able to pull off that upset. The game against the Green Bay Packers, they looked very impressive. And it's just a shame that they had a showing like that against a good team just one time this year. Maybe if they just beat the Saints just one time this year, had a showing like that, or at least a close victory at that point, maybe we wouldn't, we wouldn't be talking about this. But right now... The Bucks, the expectations that they had, it's it's not it's not looking good. It, it really isn't. They're going to make the postseason, but I don't know how far they're going to get into the NFL playoffs. The fact that Tampa Bay is having the, this disconnect and, and not doing that well, a lot of rumors are out there, and we're just going to treat rumors like they are. We don't really want to hype up rumors because we want to get to the facts and we just want to talk about what we know is true. But if you want to listen to the rumors, there's Bruce Arians and Tom Brady rumors out there about how they just don't like each other and there's kind of disconnect. And I don't believe that for one second. I feel like, yeah, maybe there's a little bit of frustration. I wish Tom Brady did it this way. I wish Bruce Arians did it this way. Maybe, but you don't want to dive too deep into that because we don't know 100% what is true or not. Rob Nikovich, former uh, teammate for... uh, former teammate of Tom Brady, stated that Bruce Aaron should be fired. 
I wouldn't go that far. I think he's still a very good coach, and I don't think Tom Brady would want Bruce Arians to be gone either. But uh, I don't know what's going on. You know, Bruce Arians could be frustrated because he gave Tom Brady everything that he wanted. You know, he advocated for Gronk to come out. He advocated for Antonio Brown to be signed, and it's just not translating. And maybe Tom Brady's frustrated because this offense, maybe it's just a foreign offense to him. Maybe it's just they're not clicking, and he just wishes that Bruce Arians just gave Tom Brady a little bit more control with running the offense. And I don't know what it may be, but I think that if next year, if Brady's age isn't a factor and he weren't to regress, then they'll be better, 100%. Because Tom Brady's going to get more adjusted with this offense, and they're going to get better, and there'll be a much better Super Bowl favorite next season than this season by the way that it's been turning out. But as for this year, this is more of like a test run. Hey, let's just get adjusted. Let's see. Okay, we have good pieces. We have a winning winning record. We could make the postseason with the offense that we have. I don't know about making the Super Bowl. So uh, leave your thoughts. Leave your comments. What do you feel like is going on with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? And what do you feel like in which areas they need to improve?